Welcome everyone to our January 12th Monday City Council meeting. Uh, can we have uh, a roll call to establish quorum, please? Joyce Zeller? Here. David Mitchell? Here. Bob Thomas? Here. James DeVito? Here. Mickey Schneider? Here. David Mitchell? We have six. All right. Please, please, please. What? You called me twice, I think. You, Miss, Mr. McClung, you missed. Mr. McClung? I am here. If you called David twice. Well, I am here, yes. I've been meaning to tell here you I about am. that. <laughs> it's, he, am he's here. even sitting like a, a pledge of allegiance. <laughs> a pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, I have a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. I have uh, two items. One is, uh, if it's okay with the commission, I'd like to move the discussion of the budget uh, to the first item under the new business so our finance director can leave to go home. Well, so, well you, you can do that on your own without All a right. second. Uh, and the second thing is I re had a uh, proclamation for Save the Ozarks. Uh, day that I read yesterday, even though it's a day late, I'd like to go ahead and read that after we have the approval of the minutes, uh, if that's all right also. Any other changes? We have, an, we have a request by the CAPC to defer ordinance number 2220 on the countywide CAPC membership. I'd make a motion to defer till the next meeting. Second. Okay, discussion? Uh, generally, that. Uh, okay, move all in favor? Is do it? No, we won't do that. What? Mickey? Do we vote on that? Yeah. No, we normally it was a, a I think second. we do vote. I, like I think we vote to defer it. Second, if we're adding and subtracting. I'd like to have the opportunity to vote. Sure. It's Go for it. Yeah, that's right. I was asking for discussion, and if there's yeah. any discussion, if not, can we wait till we get to that point then? If we're going to discuss, no, because it's no. A we're asking to defer agenda. it. We're on the agenda. The difference between yeah. deferring, leave it and on, or take it off. That's what we're asking. Deferring it until the next meeting is what we're doing at this point in time. <laughs> okay. Or asking to. Asking to. So a simple voice vote would be appropriate. Absolutely. If there's no discussion, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. Hey. I'm neutral. <laughs> I'm okay, I guess we're going to have a hand single uh, roll call three, vote. Two, three, two, one. So this is to postpone the countywide CAPC membership? Yes. yes. Mr. McClung? No. Ms. Eller? Yes. Mr. DeVito? Yes. Mr. Thomas? Yes. Ms. Schneider? Present. Mr. Mitchell? No. Three, two, one. We had no otherwise. Three, three. I'll vote aye. Okay. To defer it. All right. Any any other changes on the agenda? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we need to add on there the CAPC seating. It's on there. The it's on here. Appointments where? It's no, on the there. appointments. It's so under commissions, committees. Oh, up there. Okay, I'm looking down under the new business stuff with all the hours and I whatnot. I thought it counted up there. Okay. In the future, where is it supposed to be? <laughs> Wherever it wants. I'm looking okay. under the new business. Is there any, any other changes or additions, deletions to the agenda? All in favor of the agenda as it is, then? Six, five, saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. All right, so move. Um, in regards to the, okay, approval of the minutes. Did everybody get a copy of their minutes? Had a chance to read? I hear a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Any discussion? No discussion. All those in favor of approving the minutes as written, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, so moved. Uh, commission committees, what? Am I missing something? Oh, the proc thank you. I uh, put that on there myself. Um, save the day, Ozarks. 
Save the Ozarks Day Proclamation. Uh, this was written and in, in given yesterday at the celebration at Save the Ozarks. It states, whereas on April the 3rd, 2013, American Electric Power and its subsidy, Southwestern Electric Power Company, SWEPCO, put forward their proposal to construct a 345 kV transmission line across the Ozark Highlands of northwest Arkansas and southwest Missouri, threatening the culture, environment, and economy of Eureka Springs. And whereas citizens in northwest Arkansas and southwest Missouri joined together as Save the Ozarks to defend the Ozarks, against its environmental, economic, and cultural assault by mounting a formidable legal and technical defense, carrying out an effective media campaign and raising the large sums of money required for these efforts. And whereas, despite a vigorous defense by SWEPCO and the Southwest Power Pool of their plan, Save the Ozarks presented legal and technical arguments that led the Arkansas Public Service Commission to conclude that the proponents of the transmission line had failed to prove the need for the line and was ultimately vindicated by SWEPCO's withdrawal of their ill-conceived plan. Now therefore, I, Robert D. Berry, Mayor of Eureka Springs, do hereby proclaim the third day of April as Save the Ozarks Day. In recognition of the invaluable service by Save the Ozarks, its officers, and other volunteers and supporters, on behalf of the city of Eureka Springs, northwest Arkansas, and southwest Missouri, in witness thereof, I have hereby set my hand and caused the official seal of the city of Eureka Springs to be affixed on this 11th day of January, 2015. Here, here. Mayor Robert here. And I certainly want to, uh, again, thank uh, Pat Costner and, and all the numerous thousands of people involved uh, in this effort. Uh, it certainly has saved the Ozarks, and they did a great job, and words cannot adequately express my thanks. So... All right. Next item, uh, Commission Committee uh, terms on planning. Uh, the only we have several people that are coming up for for uh, renomination, but Woody Acords, whose term expired one one fifteen, is uh, the only one who has right now on the Planning Commission expressed uh, wanting to be renominated. So we put his vote, his name forward. Yes, sir, Mr. McClung. Yes, I'd like to move that we go ahead and approve uh, Mr. Record for uh, Planning Commission. Second. All right, got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, that's unanimous. Uh, CAPC, we have two council seats that uh, the city council occupies on the CAPC. I would like to be considered for that, if anybody is interested. Okay, Joyce nominating herself. James? I move to nominate Terry McClung. All right. David? Uh, I'd like to be considered possibly for one of those positions also. All right. And Ms. Snyder. I was going to ask if the two boys were interested in go doing it again. James and Terry. Oh, Terry's been nominated, so James. Well, he's been nominated, but that's what I was going to ask. Are yeah. you two interested? Was that sure. a yes from James? Excuse me? W will you say yes? Uh, yes, I'll serve if nominated. All right. I'll nominate James to make it interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure how we go about doing this. I've never had this many. Uh, any suggestions from city attorney here? <laughs> Paper ballot? Probably would be the way to do it. Uh, I mean, let's let's yeah. uh, let's vote one at a time. I guess uh, I guess that's the only way we can do it for position five. Uh, Paper ballot. Okay, a paper ballot. I don't know. We can all vote. We can vote by hands. I mean, it's up to you guys. I don't know. I think we should. Should what? Private vote, paper oh, ballot, paper ballot. ballot. As long as the ballots paper are, as names. long as the ballots are recorded. Yes. Then, then it's appropriate. Yeah. Um, well, I have the clerk. I've got plenty of paper. We can just tear it off and pass it around. Uh, while we are doing that. Let me go ahead on, on a simpler deal. Can you tear off paper? 
while our clerk is, I'm going oh, to uh, jump over then and, and jump to a hospital commission and see we have Suzanne Totalot, Totalot uh, whose commission has expired, who's applied, reapplied for the hospital commission and would like to resubmit. Mr. McClellan. Uh, I would like to uh, go ahead and nominate her for uh, that we vote for her okay. continuing service. Any comments? Any other nominations? All right. Uh, all those in favor, signify for saying aye. 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 And down to the cemetery position. Uh, now I will say on the HDC we have three positions vacant, I believe. Uh -huh. So all those, no, one, one position that's vacant. Uh, all those out there in TV land who are interested in applying for the HDC, Please come one or down. three. We have one. Just one, baby. Just one. I thought it, I have three, but it's what it is. It's position three. I'm going to have to learn to read my own writing. Uh, position three is vacant, uh, and the terms expires in uh, November of 2017. So anyone who's interested in, in serving on the HDC, please come down and fill out an application. <coughs> yes, sir, Mr. McClellan. I'd like to nominate Mr. Romanski for a reappointment to the Cemetery Commission. All right. I'll second that. Any further comments? Does All those in favor? Do we have a form folder? Yes. We do have one. Oh, I didn't see it. Okay, go ahead. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. I'm going to hear them all together. That's a good way to do it. Vote for two. Top two winners get it. And I would suggest to hang on to the ballots in case anybody wants to have to see them. <laughs> that might be hanging well, chads or something. Well, can't, we can't have a secret ballot. I mean, that's... I you know, it's about but there could be hanging chads or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Terry and James? James. Terry and James... <laughs> Terry and James, Joyce and David, Terry and James. That's four. Do you want to know what the other one says? Sure. <laughs> Joyce and David. Four two. Thank you. Two. Congratulations Thank you. to the new old I'll do my uh, best. JPC commissioners. Thank you very much for serving because I know how hard it is. It's uh, probably one of the hardest working commissions we have, one of the many. Uh, all right, public comments. Travis Story for Ray Dotson. Travis, are you around? Hey, I'm fine. 
Uh, is this public comments? This isn't for his application if you're representing him. I'm representing him, so I'll, I'll defer. I was, we were talking out there, so I heard, heard you start that part. I'm sorry. This is public comments, and so. We'll go ahead and wait for the, for the remainder portion. Okay, Anyways. sounds good. All right, Jackie? Jackie Woven? Come on in, Jackie. <laughs> So this new thing is that I'm going to come every month and say nice things. That's the new deal. I'm Jackie. I'm the director of the Main Street program. And the first really nice thing is welcome, Butch. Thank you. And to all of you who are elected, we are really thrilled to have you here. So thank you. We have some good news. Um, let's see. In December, we had five new businesses open in the district, which in December is really good news. Uh, we also had two major pieces of property move in the district. Um, one was Deja Vu has sold and will be reopened as retail. Um, and then the old Landacre Hotel site also was sold and is, as we know, looking to be built, rebuilt as a hotel. Those are really incredible things for the district. Um, and then lastly, we just uh, uh, we worked with FBLA uh, in December, and we helped them raise $500 for their prom. So that's good. They don't have a fundraising mechanism, so we helped them do that. And then Thursday night is our first Cocktails for a Cause. We've extended it to 12 months a year, James. It's 12 months a year now. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's at the Grand Tavern at, from 5 to 7, and our partner is the Humane Society who is trying to um, expand their operations. So we hope to see you there, and thanks, thanks so much for serving, and I'll see you next month. Thanks, Jackie. Fergie. I saw you out there. Come on in. <laughs> well, uh, Ferguson Stewart, uh, Seven Harvey Road. I'm also sit on your Parks Commission, but I'm here as a as a as a citizen of Eureka. Um, my uh, also, I like to uh, you know welcome as mayor formally, uh, Butch Berry, and uh, the other member uh, member that's here now. And I was hoping to actually sit at your table. But uh, the, the citizens didn't agree with my opinions. But uh, I'm here to talk about infrastructure. And I hope that this year uh, you break out and dust off the master plan to get the infrastructure looked at. I brought some information about how the state is doing on infrastructure, and it's not good. Right now the uh, state has gotten a D-plus on roads, a C-plus on bridges, transmit, transit system D-plus, Drinking water D plus, wastewater D a C plus, levels uh, levees D and dams D. So I've got copy, other copies here to give you, but but let's not follow the state's example. Let's work it. I know I saw on the agenda you guys have got an issue that I believe is part of the infrastructure fixing a parking lot. It's our main source of income in the city is, and we really need to focus on that this year if we can. And that's all I have. Sir. Thanks, Ferguson. Appreciate it. All right, that's the uh, end of the public comments or all the people that signed up. Uh, new order of business. As uh, most of you know, since you're not the newcomers, but, uh, Bob, we go around setting up our order of business, and the first thing is setting up our meeting dates uh, for 2015, whether we want to continue meeting on the 2nd and 4th. I, I would move to continue to meet at this time. I'll second Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 So moved. Uh, the next order of business is a pro tem, vice mayor for 2015. I believe James served for last year. Uh, and this sits in for whenever I'm unable to be here. They will sit at the table and take that. Terry? Uh, I, if James is willing, I'd like to put him back out there for that. I'll second you call that. on me first. I'll second that. <laughs> I was going to nominate you. <laughs> I'll second that. that was All right. Well, we have a motion and a second. Uh, do we have any discussion? Do we have any other uh, nominations? Well, I was going to nominate him. Mm -mm. He's being poopy. I, James has got it down, Pat. He's smoothed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Just leave All right. Rock the boat. Well, then all those in favor, sing by, by, by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Abstain. Right. Uh, <laughs> rules of procedure. I think our 
Um, standard rules have always been Robert rules of order. I'm sure there are certain additions and all that, but we'll just go with our basic Robert rules of order, I think. Mickey? I hate Robert. Please, can't we ever do it without him? <laughs> No. Don't we? I always have to say that. Don't we use the um, abbreviated Roberts? What's that called? That's fine. It's still Robert Rules of Orders. That's what you've used as the basic. Yeah, it's got Something a different thing about like for for dummies. A bridge. You know, Roberts for it's dummies. A, yeah, it's a, it's a shortened version. <laughs> yeah, that one. Do we have to specify between the two? There are so many editions of that. I doubt you can come up with the right <laughs> editions. <laughs> I, I would think unless we get into a real argument, we can just usually say Robert Rules of Order and, and be sufficient. James? I'd move to uh, maintain uh, Robert's Rules of Order as a uh, procedure for the 2015 Council. Second. Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor, say five percent saying aye. 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 So moved. All right. That brings us down to uh, unfinished business. Um, Wait. We've got... Skip down to new business. No. We're going to run through unfinished real quick. We went unfinished first. It moved to okay, the front of you new have, business. Okay, didn't you move? I did, but I moved him to the front of, of new, new business. Of new business. Just Since that's new business, it's really not unbusiness. Okay, I thought you meant up in the first part of yeah. new business. Okay. Um, so... Uh, Mr. McClung or Mr. DeVito, got a comments on Dwayne's recommendation for yard waste? Well, James? actually, I'm not sure why I'm on there because Mickey's been the one that's yeah. been. Uh, that's fine. So I'll, I'll defer. Good. I'll defer. We're uh, putting it Mickey. off one more meeting. Okay, defer it. Yeah. All right. Second. Was the second? And I meant to James. get that at the beginning Thank and you. I forgot. I'm sorry. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. So moved. All right, number two is uh, deferred. Number three, ordinance number 2221, amending personnel policy handbook. It's third reading. Do I have a motion? And I'd, I'd move to suspend the rules in place ordinance number 2221 on its third reading by title only. Second. We have to have a roll call for suspending the rules, I believe. Let's see. Do we have an amendment going on? <coughs> Do we have an amendment going on on this? I don't know what, it is. what ordinance two? The wording two one. one. We have uh, to do this first. Just a minute, Mitch. Please, Mr. Mitchell. Yes. Miss Seller. Yes. Miss Snyder. Yes. Mr. Devito. Yes. Mr. Thomas. Yes. Mr. McClung. Yes. Six zero. All right. Uh, Okay, now we need a motion to approve the reading. No, well, we just read the read, the title. read. Okay, and then okay. we make the motion. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay. Ordinance two two. Oh, wait a minute. I've got the wrong one. Thanks. I've got it. Ordinance two 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 one. An ordinance amending the City of Eureka Springs Personnel Policy Handbook. Mm -hmm. Motion to approve. The whole thing. Yeah. So I, I would move to approve ordinance number 2221 on its third reading. Oh, God. <clears throat> Second. Key. Discussion. Now, no. discussion. I will never get that right. It's been six years. I'll never get it right. Um, okay, we were having a, a word problem. I don't know how we go about amending this, putting it in, because I don't have the old one. I've got this one. Well, here's the. Isn't that right? These what was the, the word? I just wrote in. Okay. If you want to make this a motion. This is how we want it, right? Okay. Uh, it's not up to me. All right. We need to make a word change, a, you know, a sentence change, because it was not clear that this was in regards to food only, so on and so forth. So I <clears throat> make a motion that we amended to say receipts of up to $50 per day spent on meals will be reimbursed. And we know it's for meals, how much a day, and only if you actually spend that, whatever your receipts are is what you get paid back. So if you spend $5, no, you don't get 50 You get your receipts worth. 
as opposed to how it was worded? As opposed to a total of $50 a day. Um, on my notes show that on the 8th of <coughs> December, we uh, amended that sentence to say reimburse for a total of $50 per day for food. Now, you want to change that to something else? We didn't get that put on there. Why well, don't my notes say it was 12 8 okay, 14? Can we ask the clerk, she's got a better background. Okay. Go ahead. It was amended to say for meals, and then the question arose if you wanted a total of $50 or a maximum of $50. And actually, this wording, if I remember correctly, was your suggestion so as to make it clear that it's receipts of up to $50 per day spent on meals will be reimbursed. And mm. Yeah. Sounds good to me. So my question was, how are we changing it? Just to take this out and put this in. Oh, like I said, this way we know it's for meals and it's only for the receipts you turn in. Oh, that's the way I Mr. McClellan. That's not what's on this one? Well, it says total of $50. Yeah. That's not what we want, though. No, this uh, is for up, to, up to Up to $50. Up, yeah. make, make, make the amendment. I, I just did. I made Mickey the motion. made the motion, so. Somebody's got a second. Well, I'll second that. I'm just not really sure what Didn't the motion was. Page social habits. Did you? The top. That's our change. The top yellow one. Yeah, that's, right. that's the way it should read. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. give it to her and get going. <laughs> All right, so is that the amended? Would you read the amended version, please, for everybody so we know what we're. One. Um, may I just read section one? Yes. Okay. That the Eureka Springs Personnel Policy Handbook is amended in the following manner. A. Page 12 of the handbook is amended by having the second sentence in the first paragraph in the section titled On Duty Travel Leave by having the second sentence deleted and amending the third sentence to read as follows. Quote, for any on-duty travel leave that requires an overnight stay, the employee will be reimbursed for a total of $50 per day for receipts, excuse me, for a total of $50 per day spent on meals will be reimbursed. You're missing your uh, like you that You're right. Word. It is awkward. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Or any part of an overnight it. stadium. Use, yeah. use this phrase. Oh. Use that total phrase. Of. Oh, she didn't. When it was She didn't. Okay. I didn't smooth it out first, did I? The top yellow. Reimbursed up to a total of four meals. Mr. Mayor. Yes. If, here, Madam Mayor. Oh, I mean, Mr. Madam Mayor. <laughs> Mr. McClung. I was just going to suggest that the sheet in your left hand would, really, that wording is much more appropriate and to the point that we're going yeah. to. And that was our motion, uh, too. All right. <laughs> Basically, say receipts of up to $50 per day spent and on meals. meals will be yes. Period. That, yes. That's smoother. Because we're going to be, the receipts will be reimbursed anyway. All right. Everybody understand? Okay. Uh, do I have a motion to approve the amendment? There Did was. I have a motion? You had that? a motion in a second. Correct. Okay. All in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> All right. So moved. Okay, so now then, do we, we need to approve first ordinance the worst. 221 uh, as amended. As amended. As third reading as amended. Yes. Third reading as amended. She wants her paper um, back yes. when you're done with Do I have a motion? Yes. Motion to approve ordinance number 2221 on its third reading as amended. Second. Second. Okay, any, any more discussion? All those in favor signify roll call. Third time we roll. usually do it by, by roll, call. roll call. Okay. Uh, roll call. Mr. DeVito? Yes. Ms. Schneider? Yes. Ms. Zeller? Yes. Mr. McClung? Yeah. Mr. Mitchell? Yes. Mr. Thomas? Yes. 6 0. Thank you, guys. 
All right. Uh, puts us up to, we got through the unfinished business, now new business. Uh, discussion of the 2015 budget. Motion to discuss. Second. We have a resolution before you that you should have all received in the mail or email and in your box, along with a copy of our general budget report. Lonnie is here if we have any questions for him. Yes, sir, Mr. Williams. I'm David. Mr. Oh, Mitchell. I'm sorry, <laughs> Mitchell. <laughs> it's a, it's Getting okay. confused. Uh, Lonnie, are, is the reserve still standing at what? There. It's still standing at approximately what And would you please Lon, repeat uh, what that number was? Lonnie, you want to come up here and get you on tape? <laughs> David, I don't have it right off the top of my head. Give or take 100000 uh, <laughs> But uh, in, in reserves, uh, we... we Probably have uh, in the neighborhood of four or five hundred thousand in, in reserves. In reserves, and in this budget, in every category, there is a small amount that can be potentially transferred to reserves. And when now, we had that budget meeting, you estimated somewhere in the ballpark of a hundred thousand. I'm not going to hold you to it, but it was somewhere total. There. Total. That's that's yes. about right. Okay. And, um, this resolution that you're looking at right now is essentially the same as what you've had back since about October okay. that we've been working with. We did make some very minor changes because of some personnel changes in both the fire department and the police department, but that's all. Okay, and we're still for for uh, public works anticipating uh, a, a relatively large increase in revenue due to the water meters. We are uh, anticipating that when we get the meters fully sure. get them installed oh, sure. and everything. Okay. Uh, just <clears throat> just what we've done thus far, yes, sir. Uh, it has affected the cash flow in a positive way. I can tell you okay. by. Uh, uh, repairing uh, the water leaks as yeah. they come up. Of course, there's one almost daily or weekly somewhere, but we're on. Uh, our, we're not. <coughs> Public Works is on top of that uh, pretty pretty quickly every time that there is a leak, and the meters that have been changed out and the combination of those two have made a significant difference. So then the. We would assume at that point, which is dangerous, but we'll assume that at that point there won't be as much need to move money from general fund over to public works to compensate for expenses. That's what's happening right now as Thank we you. speak. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Any other questions, James? Oh, uh -huh. I was going to. Do you have a question, Joyce? Uh, yeah, I am <coughs> lost in what we have here. What? Our anticipated total revenue to cover this budget for 2015, is that the first figure up here? or Okay, I'm comparing this to what I had in the October 31st statement. The requested budget was um, 3,359,298 for total estimated revenues. Um, is this on page one? Well... I guess. I'm not used to getting it this way, so I'm not sure I'm reading it. Um, the first page. Is the first page, that bottom number on the first page, is that where, uh, what we are anticipating for total revenues for 2015? For the general fund only. For the general fund only. Well, what are we anticipating for the city? Do we have that figure? What the total revenue that we expect to take in to pay these bills that we're going to be voting on tonight? You're wanting the water and sewer and the streets and everything. Uh, well, that's all no, this. no, not not that. Just the general fund. That's your top. The water, your top no, number. the water and I'm considering that the water and um, the water and sewer fund is a revenue stream producing thing. So that one is a separate thing. So and uh, so is the ambulance fund. So 
what, whatever doesn't produce, let me rephrase this. Um, I don't know, it's this first meeting is, is <laughs> I'm in trouble getting into gear here. Whatever is not a revenue producing, a revenue stream fund that we have to depend on tax collections to pay the appropriations, what are we anticipating those tax collections to be over this past year? Is that, you know what I'm asking you? No, I don't uh, understand. No. Are we expecting to take in more money than we did last year? Uh, taxes yes. for taxes and for general revenue. Yes, we are. Okay. Yes. And how no, much no. more are we anticipating to take in? Do you know? Well, it's not a huge amount, but it is uh, based on. Are you talking about sales tax collection? Well, or whatever we get revenue from that we use to pay the city's expenses. Well, we. Because we get revenue from, you know, uh, parking fines and building permits and all kinds of stuff. What's the proje what's the percent projection over last year's budget uh, as to this it's year? It's about three percent. Three percent. Okay. So we're about the rate of inflation. Okay, and last year actually we ended up with about sixty thousand and some change more than. Uh, we did the year before. We had an increase of somewhere around sixty thousand. I believe that's correct. Yes. Okay, so are we expecting any more increase this year than sixty thousand? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I know where we're at. I just had trouble putting in the words. I guess. James, I would move to sign this resolution, a number, and pass it by reading. Second. A motion seconding further discussion. Being none, do we uh, sign a number and then vote, read it and then vote? I forgot. Uh, well, the way he made the motion was to assign a number, read it, and it would be passed. Okay. So, no further discussion. Sign a number and read it. And oh, you'd have to vote first. Oh, we need to vote. All those in favor, sing five for saying aye. Sorry, I forgot. Because it's done, it will be yeah. done. It has to be. Did I hear an eyes? Uh, oh, aye. Aye, aye. Any nays? Aye. All right. I made a mistake. Can we go home now? She Let's got. She the passage. Uh, uh, all right. Now then, we're going to go back again, and we're doing this by vote voice. We're going to do it right this Yeah. Time. We're all learning this time. Um, we're going ahead like all right. the Eternals. <laughs> Madam Ms. Clark. Snyder? Yes. Mr. Mitchell? Yes. Mr. McClung? Certainly. Mr. DeVito? Yes. Mr. Thomas? Yes. Ms. Eller? Yes. Six zero. The resolution number will be 652. Resolution providing for and adopting budgets for the city of Eureka Springs, Arkansas for the 12-month period beginning January 1, 2015 and ending December 31, 2015. Appropriating money for each and every item or of expenditure therein provided for. Whereas the City Council of the City of Eureka Springs, Arkansas, has made a comprehensive study and review of the proposed budgets and whereas in the opinion of the City Council, the proposed 2015 budgets budget presents as accurately as possible the City's anticipated revenues and expenditures for the 2015 calendar year and now therefore be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Eureka Springs, Arkansas, Section 1. This resolution shall be known as the Budget Resolution for the City of Eureka Springs, Arkansas for the 12-month period beginning January 1, 2015 and ending December 31, 2015. And the attached 2015 budget documents reflect estimated revenues and expenditures in detail for the period. All revenues and appropriations are based on estimated revenues, and all estimates are subject to change during the budgetary period. Section 2, the amounts for revenues and expenditures proposed for the 2015 municipal budget are hereby authorized and appropriated for the purposes set forth in the calendar year ending December 31, 2015. Estimated revenues for the general fund, $3,360,373.50. An appropriation for that fund, $3,311,478. Estimated revenues for the street fund, $708,500. An appropriation for that fund, $687,808. Estimated revenue for lot fee, 
$274,567, and appropriations for that fund, $272,892. Estimated revenue for the capital fund, $928,500, and appropriation for that fund, $928,344. Estimated revenue for the debt service, $1,227,300, and appropriation for that, $1,187,798. $1,187,798. Estimated revenues for the court automation, $6,225, and appropriation for that, $4,000. Estimated revenue for the Fireman's Pension Fund, $102,576, and appropriation for that fund, $99,000. Estimated revenues for the Municipal Court Retirement, $1,075, and appropriation for that, $1,075. Estimated revenues for the Water and Sewer Fund, $1,442,400, and appropriation for that fund, for those funds, $1,193,795. Estimated revenues for the Transit Fund, $1,219,244, $1,219,244, and appropriation for that fund, $916,450. I thank you, guys. Uh, next business, uh, next item on the agenda, the decision on Ray Dotson's Animal Drawn Franchise application. Motion to discuss. Oops. Second. Second. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and members of the council for moving that up on the agenda. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Nice evening. Uh, okay, we have a motion to uh, to discuss. So moved. We did. Oh, you did. We did. We seconded. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, I. Yes, sir. Time for discussion. Ready. I'd like to ask a couple questions of the attorney as we get before we get started here, if that's possible. Mr. Weaver, in the case of franchises with the city and everything, it's the the city's. It's in the city's pleasure whether we keep a franchise open or we modify them or we close them. It, it is our prerogative as to franchises, whether they exist or not. Is, is, am I off base on that? Franchise law allows for the city, yes, as any entity that grants franchises, to leave a franchise open if they feel there's not an appropriate applicant at any time or to uh, dispose of franchises in certain instances where they're no longer needed or they're no longer desired. So in the case when you have a, we have franchises that we have questions about the wording and the operations of, of, of current franchises that we have, and we possibly wish to clarify those, is it, it, is, would it potentially be prudent or acceptable to not open that franchise and then to request that possibly the city attorney review all of the pertinent uh, franchise examples around and bring back uh, wording to the franchises the way we have them detailed out that would uh, make them uh, more clarified and understandable and better for the city. That is typically done not only with franchises but with other issues that sometimes the city may have where a new uh, application of some type has been made for a business or something of that nature change also. If you are going to consider changes to an ordinance or to a section of the code, you often will put a freeze to hold your position mm -hmm. until you know what you wish to make changes so that any new entity coming in under either the franchise or under the other stated uh, new rules will know from the very beginning what the rules are and how they apply and so you don't have a question of well are they under an old set of rules or are they under a new set of rules so so that would be appropriate in this it is it is very appropriate and has been done repeatedly by this council in various instances 
uh, where there are major considerations of, of issues about planning commission recommendations. There's been about franchises. It's it's a common occurrence. Thank you. Mr. Snyder. Um, question for y'all. Do you have updated people workforce? Uh, yes, ma'am. I believe we've got the, the petition or the request for the, the application for the franchise has been filed. Uh, I believe actually is the same that you've had previously. It just asks it just asked for sorry. Is that better? Uh, it, it is updated from the last meeting that it only requests one route, which is the route we believe is vacant or being vacated. Okay, that's currently. the only update you have for us? That's, uh, that's the update as to the application. There has been, and I believe the council has been made aware that there was a writ of mandamus that was issued. No, I'm not 